This is the CPE Project M3's Evil Twin. Uh, it's about three years of development. Uh, started with a uh, auctioned uh, car that we got, and uh, we've we've piled a lot of money into it. We've gone through countless numbers of uh, 3D rapid uh, prototypes, and uh, this is the you're seeing one of seven initial uh, rapid cast. Now you guys also had this last year here, but what changed since from last year to this year? Actually, uh, last year we uh, we were at PRI. And last year was the full mock-up of the 3D prints. Okay. And we actually changed a lot of the prints. And uh, as we got further along in the project, we realized that we needed to take several steps back. It was, it was two steps forward, one step the back. Back, right, right. Um, the, the, the kit is, uh, you know, power plant is going to come with tile housings, uh, stainless steel housings. You're going to be able to go from a 20, uh, 560 journal bearing. Uh, which uh, the engineers at CPE firmly believe in uh, for that 500, 550 pungent, you know, in, in your what? face horsepower with no turbo lag. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then from there, for the crazy guys, uh, you, 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 you know, you can go upwards from there, 700, 750. We got these particular ones are uh, GTX 20, uh, 28. And, uh, what is the expected you, power output, you think? Well, that's a loaded question. How much power do you want to throw at? You're going to run out of fuel. Right. Uh, but we have provisions for a manifold coming out with the sequential injector firing or batch fire injector firing. Is there any way to address the fuel issues? Yes, and that's with the, the manifold uh, or a, uh, a fueling system that we're coming out with, as well as the in-tank pumps, it's called our top hats, that we utilize on the uh, Mustangs to get the fuel from the back of the tank to the, the set, that's the first key. You gotta get from the tank to the motor. From the motor, uh, you're gonna be limited by five, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not too well versed with. Uh, but is the fuel system included with the actual? No. Okay, no, it's no, separate. No, it's separate. But a lot of guys are making good power with the current turbo systems that are already out there on the stock block right. and with the stock fuel system. Yes. So combined with math, and combined with a batch fire or sequential injector system with port fuel. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask how you're doing it. Yeah. That, that's what I was uh, referring to initially. Uh, you'll be able to get more fuel delivery to car. So at that point, it's not so much a fueling problem. It becomes your transmission or your trans transaxle or your differential yeah. that's going to be the limiting factor, limiting factor on the car. Absolutely. But so what about the tuning for it then? Who is taking care tuning, of that? Initial tuning is a joint venture with Cobb. We'll be coming out with a standalone boost management that will be included in the uh, in the uh, kit. Okay. And then you utilize the heat, the AP, the Cobb AP, to dial it in. Uh, and then down the road, we're going to be reviewing a full CAN bus standalone for it. Uh, that will, uh, you know. But will the factory the electronics event. still all be yes. retained? The factory electronics will be retained. Uh, all your gauges, everything will be uh, ready to rock and roll with the, uh, the CAN bus standalone that we're looking at utilizing. But there will be different stages of electronics. So the initial stuff will be for the Cobb stuff. Uh, it will be great. They're also going to uh, try and help us with uh, get dialing in the boost management uh, so that we don't have to provide a standalone boost management. Excellent, okay. Uh, you know, but no, 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 you know, it's not 110% sure that we're going to be able to do it. Now, let me ask you the question. I know this is actually a bit of a loaded question as well, but this is one that everybody's been talking about. This is what caught everybody go crazy on the forums today. What will the pricing be? Can I get a ballpark? Can I get anything? Well, it's build of materials is 208 parts and okay. three years of engineering and a lot of complicated castings. You're looking at one, two, three, four, yeah. five castings alone and a lot of water jacketing and the engine mount and uh, other components of heat shielding as well as the valves uh, that you don't see here, the wastegates. We don't have a projected price yet. Um, I'd, I'd really be lying to you. Would you, you be able to tell I, me more than 10? It would definitely be more than okay. 10. Okay, that's, uh, that's good enough for me. Yes. Okay, so. and are we, do we have an ETA or do we not? We hope to have this uh, running uh, by before January 1st. That's our goal. And there will be two cars that it will be going in. It will be going in Project Black Knight, okay. which is our 1M in conjunction with Steve Greathouse. Uh, he's the owner of the car. And then uh, Project ET, which is the M3's Evil Twin. Uh, which I'm sure you guys have seen on the yes. social media sites. Uh, that will be a 335 all-wheel drive four-door. Um, and from there, we'll start building this guy. These, this car is going to have uh, twin 35s, yes. 
very turbo laggy. We're gonna try and play fun car with it. But they see should be able to make some good, good, good power. Good top end power. Absolutely. Uh, but here are the days of the new Supra and the new GTR. You know, this is what uh, I think a rebirth in the industry. Uh, having that car uh, that maybe your grandmother owns, and next thing you know, <laughs> you get it, and it's got factory turbos, and you have a clear, good, solid motor with a clear up grade path. No more sm smoky turbos. 100% bolt on, no sending in factory parts to get reworked to make a, 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 a turbo system work. Gotcha. This is 100% bolt on, including stainless steel, wire meshed, uh, silicone, so no collapsing and no growing of the hoses. And let me ask you one last thing. Um, do you have a response to basically the guys who are saying this is never coming out? It's not gonna. It's not gonna come to fruition. Blah well, blah blah. We really appreciate you know. Uh, uh, the conversation, having the conversation about the turbo kit and about the project, um, you know, we appreciate the support. Uh, good conversation or conversation at, you know, just any conversation at all is better than no conversation. Absolutely. So, uh, and thank you guys for waiting patiently. Those that have been waiting patiently, <laughs> uh, we're we're doing our best. Uh, it's three years of development, uh, it's a ton of money, investment, and uh, you know, here here it is, and we're going to be doing a lot of good testing. But at CPE, with uh, Atmos Atmosphere Turbo Kit line, uh, we, we like to make sure that everything is thoroughly tested, uh, well laid out, and most of all, bolt in. If it's not bolt in, it's not a CPE product. If you gotta cut your car, if you gotta send in products to make a product, it's not considered a product at, at CPE, I Custom think Performance Engineering. That's a good standard to hold, your, you know, hold yourselves to, absolutely. And uh, also check us out of our new parent company, uh, Atmosphere Turbo Kits. You can find it at uh, atmosphereturbokits.com, atmosphereperformance.com, and uh, also atmosphereturbo.com. Let me add this. Don't get discouraged by the guys on the forums. Trust me, I deal with them all the time. It gets frustrating. Thank you for your time. Not Josh, I appreciate it. Not a problem. Thanks, boss. Thank I appreciate you. it.